So the first topic we have with mesh is just basically describing what mesh is um, and the benefits of mesh. So I know a lot of people don't really have experience with mesh, and that's okay. So we'll, we'll ease you into this pretty basically. So a real high level here. Mesh is specific to the unified world. You don't have mesh on autonomous, only in the controller-based systems. It, mesh is a specific mode that you're going to place access points in, although when you place the access points in the mode, they call it bridge mode. So bridge mode means mesh mode on the lightweight APs. It works on both indoor and outdoor APs. Functions pretty much identically between the two. A few extra features you have in the outdoor APs. Obviously, they're also built to a stand, outdoors, longer ranges, things like that. But operationally, very, very similar between indoor and outdoor. Now, some APs are going to be able, um, some mesh APs will connect up to their wireless LAN controller through their wired interface. So even though you know, we're talking mesh on the special mode, it's unified, so we're still joining up to controllers. So um, root APs, or wraps, join up to their controllers through their wired interface. So they're actually um, the link to the wired network. Then we have some APs that do not have wired, uh, wired connectivity to their controllers. They have to connect to the controller across their wireless interfaces, um, you know, kind of hop to hop across these mesh APs, making their way back to the wrap and then all the way to their controller. These are called maps or just mesh APs. So we have our wraps and maps, root APs, mesh APs, and usually the distinction is just wrap has a wired connection to the controller, maps do not. So um, when these maps are connecting up you know, wirelessly, either you know, map to map or eventually map to wrap, uh, they're using their wired, wireless interfaces to do this. These wireless links, AP to APs, are referred to as the backhaul links. So if you ever hear backhaul, that means the AP to AP connections. And those links are AES encrypted. So you don't have to worry about um, configuring any special encryption. It is automatically encrypted as the data travels AP to AP to AP. So regardless of what the WLANs are configured for, the AP to AP backhaul connections, always AES, AES encrypted, so you don't have to worry about security there. Now once a mesh AP joins a controller, um, they can do both are one of two different things. They can be advertising WLAN, so just wireless connectivity for wireless clients. They can also do wired bridging, so you could have um, you know, something plug into the wired port of a map and then have this wired traffic go through the map, hop to hop across the backhaul, making its way to a wrap and dropping off on the wired network there. So they can do both wireless clients as well as wired bridging. So it's a mixture of kind of a regular AP as well as um, you know, a bridging functionality. So why use mesh? Uh, four main cases where you typically use mesh, both indoor and outdoor. So if you need to deploy APs where it's just too expensive to try uh, to run cables to, or it's not possible, maybe you're ex exceeding that you know, 100 meter distance limitation on a copper cable, and you don't want to try to do fiber with these copper to fiber conversions through or you know, you know, usually in the outdoor area, you know, it's just gonna cost way too much to dig up you know, parking lots or whatever it's gonna be. So if it's too hard or just not feasible to run cables, we can connect them up wirelessly. That's one case for mesh. If you wanna deploy um, APs outdoors for client connectivity, that usually stems from it's just way too hard to, to run cables to these guys. So uh, outdoors, very classic case for mesh, especially once you get away from buildings. If you want to bridge wire traffic wirelessly using a unified uh, solution as opposed to autonomous APs, mesh is your solution for that. We don't have any other mode that can bridge wired traffic in a unified platform. And then um, bridge wired traffic across multiple AP hops. So if you have to go hop to hop to hop, uh, can't really do that in the autonomous world. So mesh becomes really your only option. You know, there's special corner cases and, and tricks you can do in the autonomous world, but uh, generally uh, this is where you wanna start using Unified. So let's just quick draw this so you kind of have a, a little bit of a picture um, in terms of what this would look like. So again, we're gonna have some sort of a wired network, we'll put it up here, that has a wireless LAN controller. We have to have a controller because this is a Unified solution. Controller is connected to some wired network here and we'll have a root AP, a wrap, on the same wired network somewhere that the wireless LAN controller is on. Doesn't have to be on the same subnet, but at least you know 
they can talk to each other over the wired network. And then we have APs that don't have a wired connection to the controller. So we could have you know, maybe three different APs out here. They will build these backhaul links, so wireless links towards the wrap. Just one, so this guy down here, maybe he can't make it to the wrap, so he goes through one of these other maps. And we can optionally have these maps plugged into their own wired networks. They just don't have connection to the wireless LAN controller. But then we could have you know, these guys advertising client WLANs. We also have our wired bridging. So we can do both wired bridging. We can also have wireless client support going to controllers. So uh, a few different options with MAP, but this is kind of the basic look, feel of it. We have a controller with a wrap on the same wired network, maps somewhere out there connecting wirelessly back ultimately to a wrap, either directly to the wrap or hop to hop across one or more maps. So it's the overall kind of look and feel in terms of the, the mesh network.